the first stop in the Vance Trump Crown of Surfing. We're into Heat 9, Round 3. Adriano D'Souza, Ryan Callanan, Tanner Godowskis, Michael Freestyle February, Chris Cote here with Pete Mel. Wow, we're seeing back-to-back -back world title contenders. So as I can do here, and we're going to get right going with uh, one of the top three surfers in the world. Well, and goes down real quick. That was Adriano D'Souza. I think the biggest story for me in this heat is uh, as we watch Freestyle. And there he is throwing yes. a little spinner. Gets his board up. Somehow pulls it off. He had everything really far up on that board after that rotation, but able to pull it off. And then this, this is the story I'm talking about. Ryan Callanan bidding for a championship tour spot at the end of the season. He sits in 10th. That is the cutoff line. So he is the surfer. If someone behind him and there's a bit of pressure on him, uh, he needs to get at least into, I mean, if he wants to improve his situation, he's holding on to his low score of his. Now with 20 minutes, 54 seconds to go, Tanner Godowskis. Vance team rider also trying to make a big push. He is the solo flag waver of the Gidowskis crew right now. Unfortunately, his brother Patrick had a tough heat yesterday. So Tanner now carrying the Gidowskis weight on his shoulders. But he's very capable. He's really good in waves at this size. I mean, this is lower trestles, basically. This is his backyard. And uh, his backside is lethal. He's got a really quick, powerful forehand. Surfing is that he can pack it in. Let's take a look here at February. He goes left, splits the peak. You know, and that left is tough, and that first section, it slows up so quickly as it hits deep water, but then he stays with it. He's able to fit two turns in before it shuts down. And then here's Tanner, but I was going to say what I like about Tanner is, is that he packs the turns in. He will unload in such a tight space. He'll pack those turns in. And they're, they're not just like he's doing it to get the, uh, the amount of turns in. It's just literally he, that's how he surfs. And then, uh, of course, this is the replay here. Adriano de Souza, what a season he's had. Super consistent. Always into the quarterfinals. Uh, in, in the heat. Um, and, and it felt good. It's all uh, okay motto from Sharpie. Five, nine and a half. Um, using the performance thing, so it's feeling good. So in world title... It's always the um there that uh, people want and uh, yeah he has to I mean the rule states you have to do it 30 days before an event so so, so uh, he's not doing sunset he's going out and riding waves and and sometimes that pays off see right now though we got Adriano de Souza up and riding well he's come over here and he, now he's able to compete literally against the world's best here's one of them Adriano de Souza now he's putting the hammer down he kind of was uh seeming kind of just Restful, not really getting too aggressive in the water, but Saturday he goes full force on any given opportunity. A oh, nice little variety here. He goes vertical for the first turn, carves the next turn. It's a smaller inside wave here, but he saw that it had that opportunity that's going to give him several turns. It's live action, Michael February up and down. And right behind him, Tanner Godowskis. It's a little bit late. The speed float gets around this section. Kind of a difficult wave to surf, but Tanner, blast reverse, almost runs over Adriano, tore it to pieces. Yeah, and this one, unfortunately for Tanner, just ran off too quick for him, but stayed with it to get this last section. Goes for the little tail whip, 360 attempt, reverse attempt, but can't ride out of it, so... Uh, Huge opportunity for this young surfer, and he's up and riding again. This went on during the break, Pete. Yeah, look at this, just quickly, four little bashes on the back end, well, three bashes on the back end. And uh, splitting the peak with Tanner. We're waiting on this score for Tanner. 1.97 for his last wow. one. Uh, going left, and look at this. Just huh. nice little mix there. This is uh, left is right up his alley. Being that uh, you know, kind of almost T Street-ish, you know? Like uh, a lot of the lefts at T Street tends to bend out to see on the south swell. So he's got that thing dialed in. Knows how to ride the whitewash straight up and down. And then February, live action. Yeah, bumpy wave for Michael February. Manages a couple turns on the outside section. Everything he has to make this inside section, but nothing was uh, eight and a half to go. Tanner Godowskis keeping the pedal down, going left again. Nice opening snap. So much speed through every turn. Going 100 miles an hour, bam, into a frontside grab reverse. Tanner Godowskis 
the savagery continues. Wanting to, you know, because he, he sits in a position, you know, ultimately if he puts two big results right now, he could find himself back on the championship tour. He was able to have a maiden voyage there for a year, and he would love to get back on there. He's going to have to uh, get through guys like this to do that, though. Adriana de Souza. Now this is where things get dicey for the competition with turns like oh, that. Oh, bummer. Well, he's back on the face. Another open turn. Finishes nicely with a little tail whip. That's just the never give up attitude that Adriano that exemplified. That first turn was huge. And even though he got caught up, still managed to uh, squeeze. Right. Let's take a look at the replay here. February, who splits it. Again, he, get, he likes catching those little bit bigger, or he has been catching those little bit bigger waves on the lefts and hoping that they're going to give you some. But you have those set wave lefts. They just go into fat water. As we watch, look at this wave. This wave was begging for it. He laid into it, but that little hiccup, it's going to affect the score. You know, And I think that this was a, a wave that he rarely makes mistakes, Adriano. And, and, and I feel like that was a bit of an error because if he was able to come out of that with speed. Cut in the flow of the wave and that's where the judges are going to take points away. Here goes Ryan Callanan on his backhand, Pete. Well, let's take a look at the recap. Um, you know, the, the point total is 13.63 for Tanner, 13.5 for Ryan Callanan, so, and, you know, both Adriano and Michael February. Uh, I would say, actually, I, I'll take back that comment about 4-3. Well, under priority, Adriano de Souza having a paddle. Right now, Tanner Gadowskis in the lead, but last wave, a 6.9. The judges loving the powerful approach. We're really blessed, you know. I think that, you know, I, I, I woke up this morning going, oh gosh, you know, and the pipeline and pipeline, you know, and the beach break, pretty small. So uh, to have this much surf here, I think we're very fortunate. Ryan Callanan, looks like he's enjoying himself right now. Big backside, tail whipping reverse. That was he made cool. that look so easy. To add more points to see what he can do here. Well, Adriana was looking left, a little too deep. Tanner Gadowskis. Oh! And he's been looking so precise. Other venue uh, up here on the North Shore. But with priority, it is Michael February. He's got a nice looking wave, offshore breeze. Grooming this one as he tries to get back into the open face. Deep bottom turn. Full body extension through that carve. All the way to the inside section. So Michael February still going. And right behind him, Adriano de Souza carving his way to the inside. Two and a half to go. He's still going. Talk about milking it. Well, it was a good sized set wave when he took off on it. It had a lot of ribs in the face, though. And then uh, behind him, third wave, Tanner quickly up and out. And then behind him, Ryan Callanan. So Ryan Callanan had priority before this set. Now he's finding himself on, it's looking like one of the best waves of these last four exchanges. Working his way to the inside with some brute force through these backhand hooks. He's a big kid. He's six foot plus and just built. Yeah, this uh, first we're gonna watch February. And this is a pretty well surfed wave. And again, it's got all of those little flex in the face. So he had to weave his way through that. And he's done that. Nice variety of moves here too. Um, I feel like this is gonna be February's best wave. Although he needs a 9.56, I don't think it got, it's going to go quite that high. But I love that the determination. He's going to paddle back out. This is that set wave. You know, it's a good size set wave. Looked like a great opportunity again for Adriano. Floats the first move there, and look at all that stuff. Had to negotiate through. He got up there a little late. Was able to pull it down. You know, the two moves on the outside, and then here it just we weaves and milks it. Not a whole lot of points on offer on this inside section. I was wondering why he rode that thing all the way to the sand. He's coming in. So uh, basically flying the uh, surrender flag, Adriana de Souza, but he's got huge things to uh, kind of look forward to in the next couple of weeks. Tanner Gadowskis caught behind, up and down, 30 seconds to go. Well, they're all they're all done. They're still in the heats, but in the rankings. Well, he's obviously in uh, one of the best positions now of all the surfers in that top 20 on the QS. Tanner Gadowskis, he's fighting from uh, the depths, but still alive. Here at Haleiwa, so the Hawaiian Pro rolls on. Heat number nine in the books. Your world number three, Adriana de Souza, going down. And a fan favorite, South Africa.